Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. Well, crop adjusters have been busy this spring, settling up with farmers hoping to collect on wrecked fields. A late spring freeze proved to be the last nail in the coffin of a wheat crop that struggled through months of drought. Joining me now is our Andy Barth from the heart of Oklahoma wheat country. Well, Rob, I'm here in Cherokee, Oklahoma, where on a normal year, the wheat would already be well above my knee. Unfortunately, now it's only part way up my calf. Yet producers are still trying to salvage a crop, despite Mother Nature's devastating toll this past year. As the wind blows through northwestern Oklahoma, this year's wheat crop is dry. Here at Cherokee at this farm, I've had 5.8 inches. And we're typically a 31-inch uh, rainfall area. Kenneth Fales, a wheat farmer in northwestern Oklahoma, says this year's wheat crop is one for the books. It's one of the worst we've experienced. Uh, this will be my 45th wheat harvest, and uh, I had a seven bushel once with a hail, but I think this one will be real close to that amount. In a good year, Oklahoma will produce about 150 million bushels of wheat. But due to the terrible growing conditions this year, farmers expect to harvest only 62 million bushels, the worst statewide crop since the 1950s, which may cause grocery store prices to change. The market will react if there's not very many bushels while the you know, supply and demand kicks in there. So it could go up in price. And if the drought isn't bad enough, a late freeze hit Oklahoma wheat farmers at the worst possible time. We had one on the 15th of April that hurt us the worst. It took quite a while for that to show effect on the wheat. Uh, it just killed some tillers. Uh, those two factors, the drought and the freeze, has limited our production here drastically. And down the road is a field so bad, Fails is turning to drastic measures. This is the third field we've been in today, and this one is the least productive in my estimation. So we're cutting down wheat hay to make round bales for cattle. But not all is lost for wheat farmers. Fail says crop insurance will once again save the day. Assuming that the price the farmer would receive through the federal crop insurance is $8.20 a bushel, and that would be a good amount of income leaving producers hoping for a better tomorrow. I say a farmer's got to be optimistic or he can't survive phys uh, mentally. And yes, one day closer to rains, talked of lots of times in drought. And it just helps one to see that it's gonna rain sometime. We don't know when, but it will happen. And it keeps you going. Well, now aside from a weak harvest, producers are also concerned about extremely dry soil conditions. When there's absence of water in the soil, high soil erosion occurs, causing major dust storms, leaving some wondering if a second dust bowl is on the horizon. So exactly what does this mean economically? Well, Rob, in 2013, Oklahoma produced 5% of the nation's overall wheat crop. And when you put a dollar amount on that, it's about three quarters of a billion dollars. Yet this year, with a likely 40% drop in bushels harvested, that economic value will be less, but very important here in rural Oklahoma. All right, thank you so much, Andy. You're welcome, Rob. Now, when we return, the head of Oklahoma's Wheat Commission joins me here in studio to talk about a crop that remains a staple for Oklahoma's rural economies. 